Hey everyone, it's Jaden Sterling, and we're going to walk you through how to upload your audiobook for sale on Audible. So step one, you go to acx.com. That is the Audible interface website to allow you to upload your Audible files. Now, before you get to this stage, obviously I've recorded my audiobook. Audible, that you record all your audio tracks in 44,100 hertz HZ mono, 16-bit rate. So as you're recording and editing, when you upload the audio files, make sure it's in the 44,100 hertz mono, 16-bit. You'll want to save your files as FLAC files. And the files that you actually upload to Audible are going to be .mp3 files. Now on this site is a very clear um, instructions on what to do. So I highly suggest that you click through this, how it works. And as you can see, if you're an author, now this is kind of cool because this is also the site that if you're a narrator, if you're someone who actually likes to read other people's books, you can sign up as a narrator and get hired to narrate other people's books and get paid for it. So that's kind of neat too. Okay, so as an author, you're going to read through. I highly suggest that you do this, that you read through what, um, what the steps are to work with Audible. And it's very clearly laid out. Step number one. Step two, so I mean, these are just all the steps that you need to take. Okay, so we're going to go to AC. Um, you also want to go to here ACX auto audio sub submission requirements, and this is where I actually what I did was I recorded all my files in my home studio and I found someone on Fiverr. He handled the production of the audio. So I gave him raw audio files and he, and I just basically copied and pasted all of these instructions. You know, it's very simple. Your submitted audiobook must be consistent in overall sound and formatting. And each day your voice actually changes slightly. So I highly suggest once you start with this project, start recording your audio, your book on audio, that you record it all the way through. I made the mistake of, you know, recording a couple chapters on one day and then a few chapters the next day. And boy, it, it totally changed the, uh, the consistency of my voice. So I ended up scratching all that content and starting over. From the very beginning, from, you know, spending an entire day reading my book. So it just sounded, once I got through that, it just sounded much clearer. It sounded more, much more consistent. So highly recommend that. And yeah, just kind of walk through these things. It's going to talk to you about recording, you know, um, that you're going to need space. They're called headers. So, you know, space, one second of room tone at the beginning and one to five seconds at the end. Really important. Each file must contain the section header if contained within the manuscript. Example, prologue, chapter one, chapter two. Each file must measure between minus 23 dB and minus 18 dB. So that's so that it just stays within a nice volume range. Doesn't get too loud or too soft. Each file must be no longer than 120 minutes. So obviously you're going to truncate your files. You're going to you're going to break them out per chapter. <laughs> I love this. Your submitted audiobook must be narrated by a human. There you go. Let's get started. Now, I clicked sign in, so obviously it's already inputted my information that Amazon has, right? Uh, Audible is owned by Amazon, so they're going to allow you to sign in there. So you'll have to go through and edit. To publish a book, ACX is required by U.S. tax regulations to request information. Okay. So you'll have to go through a tax interview. So you just walk through, they're going to interview you, tax information interview, very easy questions. You can consent to go paperless. 
electronic delivery, obviously they're going to send that to you. And then you just click through. Obviously you click through if this applies to you. I am a US citizen. Okay, bank information. Yes, you want your royalty payments collected. So to receive your royalty payments via, via direct deposit, add your US bank account. I'll put my banking information in, United States. Full name, correct. Now what we're gonna do is get our project uploaded. Here we go, click add your title. Now my book has already been for sale uh, it's in their system in Amazon. So if you have a title that's the book is already in Amazon, it will automatically bring this up. So it just put my name in there and it did a search. So what it's showing is it's bringing up my, probably my physical book as well as the ebook. So it will show both. If you don't have um, your title in there already, don't worry. So I'm not looking for someone to narrate the book. I've already done that. I do have an audiobook that you've pre previously created. So yeah, let's check that. And step one, please specify your territories in terms for distribution. What territory rights do you own? Well, I own world right territory. So let's see, yeah, world. What type of distribution do you want? Uh, okay, so here you got a couple options. Please note that your choice of the type cannot be changed once you accept the agreement. So exclusive, 40% royalty. Your audiobook will be sold through our current retail partners, Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. Non-exclusive will be sold through our current retail partners, and you can also sell it elsewhere if you choose. So I think for now, I'm actually gonna go with exclusive. Continue. Review and continue. So um, let me click on the audio audiobook license and distribution agreement. Now, obviously, it's one of these very long, probably very long agreements. Okay, I reviewed it and I agree. Uh, so it says here about the book, the text below has been pulled from your book's Amazon description page and will be used to describe your book on Audible and iTunes. Changes to this description will be included on Audible and iTunes, but will not be reflected on the Amazon description page. So here you have an opportunity. If you want to change anything, they'll tell you. Okay, so the description is correct here. It just didn't look right uh, and on here. So I'm going to go with it. So what you're doing now is you're inputting the year that you the copyright of your book and then the audiobook copyright year. So I had a lag in between the recording of my book. My book is nonfiction. Okay, so here you go. You pick the category now. And you get to, um, you know, drill down into essentially what the main category is for your book. Mine is self-development. Narrator is uh, me. Audiobook publisher is Wealth and Wisdom Publishing. That's my company that I set up when I published my book. So it'll be the same for the audiobook publisher. Review and awards. Um, if you'd like to advertise strong critical acclaim around the audiobook, you're uploading this will show in the What Critics Say section. So my book won an award. It won finalist. Okay. Continue. All right. Upload cover art. So I'm going to go to tools, adjust size for the book cover, 2400 by 2400.
Okay, so now we're on to manage the audio tracks for your finished audio book. So add audio file under final audio output, opening credit, chapter section, add audio file, chapter title. Uh, this is going to be intro introduction. Takes a moment to upload the sections and then it then it's processing. So you get the idea. You just go through all of your tracks and submit, upload them and submit them. Okay, so now I'm uploading the conclusion and closing credits and the retail audio sample as well. So that's gonna go there. And then you wait for all these files to upload. Okay, so the all the files have been uploaded. It took about 15 minutes to upload five hours and 36 minutes, 41 seconds of audio files. It didn't take very long. Um, right in the middle, at one point, chapter six got hung up. So I actually called them and they suggested to refresh the page. I didn't want to do that. So I just simply X'd the, um, I deleted that chapter and I uploaded again. And then it went online within five seconds. It was quite fast. Um, the other thing to take note of as I uploaded the artwork, you know, they want a 2400 by 2400 file, a square file. It just made the cover to me look stretched. So I called them to, you know, inquire about that. And they said, don't worry about it. Just um, keep going through the process and it will normalize itself once it's actually on Audible. So um, I'm clicking, I'm done. You're about to submit your audiobook for review. Please confirm the audiobook meets the quality specifications. It does. I've already checked that. The audiobook retail information and cover are final for retail display. They are. The approval for upload. Yes. I want to continue. Okay. So to me, this still looks really stretched. I don't know. I'm going to trust what he tells me and, and see. Um, the title is pending audio review. So apparently they have an audio review process that they'll walk through, which is great. And I don't think there is anything else to do. So hopefully this was helpful for you. How I got started was I went to acx.com. I clicked add your, you want to click add your title and then walk through the steps. The whole process took about an hour um, as I walk through this, but hopefully it will cut down on your learning curve since um, now you've watched the video. Thanks everyone. Take care. Hey, hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button or subscribe so that you receive all the amazing videos that are coming up to help you create great products and earn multiple streams of income.